Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding More. In previous video, we have learned how you can build a simple chatbot application or simple chatbot using Langchain and the boilerplate I have created, right? In this video, we are going to a little step up and see how you can stream back your LLM response to the client side. In earlier video, we were sending all together all the tokens once it is generated from the LLM and then sending all the tokens to the client side. But we don't want to do that now. Instead, what we will do is as tokens are being produced, we'll send those tokens in stream form onto the client side. Before we jump into coding, I want to show you this simple interface I have created to chat with our backend. So I have this context here I'm, I can upload files here. I have some interface to write my message and LLM will be responding or our backend will be responding. So this is very simple chat. I have uploaded all these resources into our mastering Gen AI repository and this we will be using for interacting with our backend, right? So let's jump into coding to how you can basically stream your LLM response to the client. So it's very simple and we will see how you can do that on backend side as well as front end side. So let me go to my chat endpoint. I also refactored this code to make it manageable. So what I've done is I have created all this chat response and chat request schema into this schemas directory and I have added some validator as well uh, and I've added few request parameter as well. For example, now you can add prompt. Now you can add data means context. You can also pass model here and you can pass this stream boolean variable to true or false. By default, it is true and by default, we are interacting with bedrock cloud model. And we are only allowing two model. One is a bedrock cloud. And let me add another model as well. So it's open AI GPT-4. So here I can add that. And if there is any other model passed apart from this model, we'll be sending an error. And on the chat response, we have this result dictionary. And that we are utilizing here to send the response. So my response type is chat response. And I've done few minor tweaks, but that's not very important. So let's now write a code to handle the streaming. So currently what we are doing is we are just generating the response and sending back to the client this whole response, right? Now, if I go to my bedrock provider here, I'm just invoking this model and whatever content I get from the model, I'm directly passing it to my called function. So let me create one function called generate stream response. And what this function will do is it will not wait on all the response to be built, but what it will do is it will get the chunk out of the response and sending it to client side. So this is the function. Now in my chat endpoint, what I will do is if we have stream parameter passed to true, then what we will do is instead of calling this LLM provider generate response, what we will do is we will call this generate stream response function and it will basically respond with chunks it got from the LLM. I think that's it. We need to add only this thing into our back end. Now, if I go to my front end, I already have all the code ready in my front end. So if I go to this app and I have services here in which what I'm doing is whenever I do a post request here, I'm using Axios to send a post request and in that what I will be doing is I will be passing stream to true and I am passing some headers called accept only text event stream, right? And as we are not waiting for all the response from the server, what we'll be doing is we'll be processing the chunk we receive from the backend. So what I'm doing here is I am getting the response what I am getting from the server and I'm passing it to my parent function callback. And if I see this where it is being used, so on the home page or chat page component, I have this function. It's calling this send stream message and I'm getting all the messages and I'm getting the chunk from the backend and I'm setting that chunk into my messages, right? So this is all thing we need to do. Now, let me go on to the front end side and try to write some prompt, write 10 words about New York. 
and it will give us response as it is being produced not we will not be waiting for all the response first being built from the llm and then passing on to front end right we also have that function let me show that function as well so instead of calling this stream function and if we use this send message function which is not basically passing stream parameter to true here we have this stream is equal to false so let's use that function and we'll be able to see we are waiting till all the response is being generated so here it is not streaming right but if we keep this function we'll be able to see that it will get the response as it is being produced so this is the fantastic way to improve user experience because we don't want user to be feel that they are waiting right instead here they will be able to see the response as it is being produced and it's a really good experience or really good user experience so i would highly suggest that whenever you are building llm application you consider the user experience as well and you use this kind of streaming technique so it will be really really nice for users to have their response being generated on the fly. So I think this was all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. But let's do one more thing. If you have seen my backend application and in the request schema, now I also have this model parameter, right? So let me now pass this model from front end as well. So currently we don't have any UI for that, right? So if I go to my front end, if I go to this context panel and let me add the drop down button for model here. So I have added this drop down to select the model. Now let me also update the logic. So I'm adding this context panel as context. Add pass model to API as well. So let me apply this and if I accept it, I'm getting this errors, but let me add model here and let me add model here as well. So if I go to the page again, everything should work, right? So yep, I have passed the model as well. So if I select the GPT, I should be able to get an error. Yep, I am getting an error. Right? It should be a backend error. Yes, I am getting this 500. But if I pass bedrock, I should be able to get the response. And yes, why that's happening is because in our OpenAI provider, we don't have any method to generate the streaming response. So let's do that for the OpenAI as well. So I have now this function. And if I do this again using OpenAI, I should be able to get the response. And yep, that's working. So this is how you can handle the stream in backend as well as frontend. And it's really easy to do that. So I would highly recommend 
to do or implement this streaming responses in your application. So this was all about today's tutorial. We'll be building more complex functionality in future tutorials. For now, I think this is it. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much.